What's up, YouTube? Uh, I just want to make this uh, video um, to show what my final, I guess, finished part of the build. I made a video before, but there was some tweaks that need to be done. I updated the bios, and uh, everything's running fine. Um, this is my Stormtrooper theme. I'm doing the white, red, and black. Um, you know, I've got my uh, fan controller there. And you get a little bit of the red that comes through the front fans. And I went with the white fans, you know, because they're a pretty neutral colored fan. Um, but, uh, you know, I've got the uh, red LEDs down there at the bottom and at the top. I've got my Dominator Ram there, which has got white LEDs in it. And, of course, I've got the little white RGB LEDs there. And then you can change these different colors, but I'm going with red. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's so far it's a good build. I want to show you my temps. Um, what's amazing is that upgrading the bios which you know you want to do but uh upgrading my bios really changed my temps um if you see right here on hardware monitor you see my temps down here under the uh intel core i7 5930k before i did my bios update they were sitting in the mid 30s at idle now that i did a bios update now everything's sitting in the low 20s even even hitting the teens and uh you know right now i'm just using spotify and uh hardware monitor i think those are the only two programs i'm running right now at the moment but uh most gaming applications um most gaming applications my graphics card doesn't get up to about a little over 60 degrees celsius and uh, that's that's pretty impressive considering i'm running two g1 gaming 980 ti's um as you can see here i have uh, well right now at the moment i've got them set on automatic uh so it's basically factory fan curve um, normally when you run two cards like this, you want to put them on a custom fan curve, which I normally do, but right now, I've just got them on auto, and the way it's set up is this one right here is the bottom card, and that's sitting at 34 Celsius with zero RPM, so that means the fan's not running. And this one here is the top card, which is running at 38 Celsius. And that's fans not running either. So, um, man, I think these these temps are freaking fantastic, man. And right here, as you can see, core two, which is my third, my third, basically my third core, it always runs a little hotter than the rest of them. But dude, these temps seem to be, you know, fantastic, man. And right now my temperature in my house is about 75, 75 degrees um, Fahrenheit. So uh, I think I think they're they're decent, man. And uh, so that is my stormtrooper theme. Uh, it's kind of like a mixture between stormtrooper and Darth Vader. You know, I could went all black with the. Uh, Corsair 760T in black, but kind of like the white look. It was a little classy looking. Uh, but this is my X99 build. Um, if they ever do come out with G1 Gaming 980 Ti water blocks, I will convert to uh, a full custom loop. But as it sits right now, there isn't any custom water blocks. So I'm not even worried about, you know, doing a custom loop on my CPU because it would look fucking retarded with a custom loop on a CPU and then have, you know, factory cooling units for my GPUs. So I'm going to wait and see if they come out with that. If not, 
you know, whatever. I'll wait for the uh, Pascal release next year because I'm the kind of person that I like to upgrade whenever new shit comes out. I know it's kind of stupid, but I like to do it because it keeps things fresh and new. Um, but, I mean, I do appreciate y'all, you know, taking the time to watch my video. And, uh, you know, I'm not bragging about what I have and everything else. I just want y'all's opinion on it. If there's anything else I can change. Uh, like right now, for instance, my RAM. Um, I'm using that on an XMP profile at 3 uh, 3000 megahertz and I've only got my 5930k overclocked to uh, let's just a tad over 4 gigahertz um, I don't really you know I'm not the best overclocker in the world I just wanted to go with just factory voltage I just didn't want to mess with anything so later on I might adjust that or look into that but you know if, course down there below I have my SSD I'm gonna be grabbing another one um, to put in RAID 0 um, to help my boot time fast to boot up even faster and uh, I do want to get an M.2 um, SSD I've got a slot right in between these graphics cards for an M.2 so I'm gonna grab one of those um, it's kind of uncertain on what I want to do with that but anyway I'm really happy with this build, man. Um, I've noticed that my YouTube rendering videos time has been cut in half. Going from a regular quad-core i7 to a uh, hexa-core uh, enthusiast grade. So, I'm really happy about that. But anyways, guys, you take it easy. And uh, let me know what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe if there's anything uh, I can do better or... If you recommend anything, you know, I really take everything uh, in consideration. I really appreciate it. And you guys take it easy, man. Let me know what you think about those temps. If those are normal temps or if there's anything I can do to improve them. I appreciate it. And of course, that's my... Uh, you'll see this here in the background. I'm not going to move that, but this is a uh, custom Freddy glove that I had made from scratch from... Uh, knifegloves.com from Mark Petrie. It's a template glove. It's a high-end Freddy glove. And uh, I'm a big horror movie fan, but yeah, this is the creme de la creme right here, man. Uh, I figured I'd put that as my screensaver. Anyways, you guys take it easy, man. And uh, I will see y'all again on my next video. Hopefully my next video will be with the curved 144 hertz 4K monitor, hopefully, that'll come out soon. Take it easy.